30, the numbers are in the National Interagency Fire Center today reporting that just over 10 million acres burned across the U.S. last year, making it the second worst year on record. So the focus turns to staffing. Sam Kramer, the newest member of the News 5 team in studio tonight, you tagged along for some training of the next generation of wildland firefighters. That's right, I did. Robin Elizabeth, budget restraints are posing problems at fire departments across the country, including here in southern Colorado. Still, with the threat of wildfires remaining high, the state is adding around 50 firefighters to its ranks. We can't affect the weather from year to year. We can't affect the fuels. We can't affect those things, but we can affect the training that we receive and we give to one another. Um, hugely beneficial. It's a week-long course. Out, and I know right where it's at. Preparing Colorado's next batch of wildland firefighters. After four days of classroom instruction, the students put their training on display Wednesday. It really opened my eyes to how hard they work and uh, what they do really for our community. The field day includes breakout sessions like fire shelter deployment We're talking to each other. Where's my and digging line, the primary method used to halt the spread of wildfires because for these prospective firefighters, it's only a matter of time before the next blaze. It really means a lot to uh, give back to the community. And uh, when you, you can't look on TV and see what happened over this year and not feel a sense of a call to action. It's a physically taxing job crews working 16 hour days depending on the fire's behavior. But the instructors realize just like the land that burns and regenerates, the firefighting profession is always in need of more hands. If just a few of us bear the brunt all the time, we're going to get burnt out. We're not going to be able to do the job. So we need to be able to pass it on. We need to be able to pass the information on and just have more people there to help us out. As we rise to the ranks, we know we need to backfill below us. Now, the introductory course isn't the only class offered at this week's academy. Instructors tell me about a thousand people altogether are either starting or advancing their careers this week in other courses. Watching out for you in Colorado Springs, I'm Sam Kramer, News 5. Sam, thank you. Welcome to the